Hello and welcome to A Shot of Wildlife. Today I'm at Beeston Common near Sheringham on the North Norfolk coast. And I've came here especially looking for the UK's only venomous species of reptile, the adder. But there are other reptiles here, so I'm gonna get looking around and hopefully find some interesting things to show you. Beeston Common is a small patch of heath, grass and marshland along the North Norfolk coast its prime reptile habitat. I didn't have to go very far before I spotted an animal I've never filmed before, a slow worm. Now despite their name, they are not worms, and despite their appearance, they are not snakes either. Slow worms are actually a legless species of lizard. They can be separated from their snake cousins as they have eyelids and snakes do not. They also have the ability to shed their tails if threatened, which is a common defence mechanism in lizards. This one was in a bit of an unusual spot, out in the open. At around 40cm long, it is nearly fully grown. They can get to a maximum of 50cm, but still, they make very easy prey for many birds and mammals. When they are fully warmed up, slow worms can move quite quickly, but one thing that is slow about them is the rate at which they age. They can live for a very long time, an average of 20 to 30 years in the wild, and one in captivity lived to the ripe old age of 54. And how great was that? I cannot believe I saw the slow worm just out in the open, and it let me film it for ages. It's gone back into the bracken now, or it's gone into the bracken now, um, and I'm going to carry on hopefully see another. The sun's out, fingers crossed. The heath is dotted with patches of gorse and I've been told that along the edges of these is where I was most likely to see an adder. I was walking slowly and carefully but apparently not carefully enough. Well I can't believe it, I've just seen an adder and unfortunately it saw me first. All I saw was the zigzag patterning on its back going in under the gorse but it's a good sign. They're here, they're out basking, and hopefully I'm gonna get another chance to catch one on film for you. Despite my optimism, I did have a bit of dread that I might have missed my one chance to catch an adder on film. I took a walk around the heath, and one of the other residents made an appearance, a male great spotted woodpecker. There are three types of woodpecker in the UK, and great spotted are the most common, as you may have noticed if you've seen my last three wildlife walk videos. The green woodpecker is also fairly common, but the lesser spotted is quite rare, especially in my part of the country. The woodpecker wasn't the only bird around, this carrion crow was nearby. Upon close inspection it was eating something, but I'm not certain what the food was, almost definitely a small animal of some sort. Here is the best frame I captured. What do you think it was? My best guess would be a frog. I'd left the adders for a while now, so I went back to the spot where I'd seen one, and guess what? It was there. There are three native species of snake in the UK, and adders are the only one with zigzag markings down their backs. As the zigzag is black, this animal is a male. In females, it would be lighter brown. Unfortunately, it didn't stay for very long. Had my luck finally ran out? I can't believe it was actually there. Unfortunately, I didn't get very much footage of it because a group of people came who were also looking for adders. They got to see it quickly before it disappeared underneath the gorse. However, hopefully, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come back round here in about 15, 20 minutes more, and hopefully it'll be back out, and then hopefully I'll be able to show you its head. I went for a short walk whilst I waited for the adder to come back out and spent a little while staring into the shallows of one of the on-site ponds. Aside from the three spine sticklebacks in the centre of the pond, which I didn't manage to film, it was great to see that the shallows were swarming with frog and toad tadpoles, which you might just be able to make out here. Maybe I'll come back a little bit later in the year and do some underwater filming here. It's about half an hour later, and I have some brilliant news. Look here. 
just over there the adder is here right now you might be able to see it on the screen but if not i'm going to show you the footage brilliant this whole day has been worthwhile yep for the first time ever i've been successful at finding and filming an adder to show you this is probably the same male as earlier and if you look closely you will see that its eyes look cloudy this isn't an illness but it is a sign that the animal is getting ready to shed its skin, which usually happens at the beginning of spring when they emerge from hibernation. At the start of this video, I mentioned how these are the UK's only venomous species of snake, and although it is true they are venomous, the threat they pose to people is tiny. In fact, only 14 people in the UK have died from an adder bite in the last 147 years. To put that into perspective, you are 21 times more likely to die in this country from being struck by lightning than you are from being bitten by an adder. But I must say that adders are sensitive creatures and if you ever see one, it's very important not to disturb them or try to get too close. Like most snakes, adders are ambush hunters with their main prey being small rodents and lizards. They grow to around 60 centimeters long when fully grown and usually live to between 5 and 10 years in the wild. Interestingly, unlike most snakes, adders give birth to live young. This one kept changing position to make the most of the sunlight and after getting all of the footage I wanted, I left him to enjoy the spring warmth. And I've done it. I cannot believe that it's been a success. I really didn't think I was going to see any and I thought that this would be a video that I never actually got to show you. But here we go. Now, if you did enjoy this video, click on this one on the screen right now to discover some more British wildlife. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hello and welcome to A Shot of Wildlife. Today, I'm at Sheringham. I'm not.